Good day everyone! Welcome to my video lesson on the subject of statistics and probability. For today's lesson, we have to define sampling distribution of a sample mean for a normal population when the variance is known and unknown. Here is a table for you to know the formulas when the population variance is known and unknown. In the first row, we have the standard error formula when the population variance is known, which is sigma divided by the square root of n. And the other standard error formula is s divided by the square root of n when the population variance is unknown. In the second row, we have the z distribution. When the population variance is known, and the T distribution formula when the population variance is unknown. Determine whether the following statements have a known or unknown population variance. Identify also the formula to be used to estimate the standard error of the mean. Example number one. The mean waiting time to order at Jollibee is 80 seconds with a standard deviation of 22 seconds in a random sample of 20 customers. The sampling distribution when the variance is unknown. The standard error formula is S divided by the square root of N. Here is the question. Why do we say that this statement has an unknown population variance? First, the sample size is given which is 20. And since we are given the standard deviation of the sample, that is S, and the population was not mentioned, we cannot solve the population variance. Example number 2. We will notice that is only a given. Even we don't have statements, we can identify if the variance is known or unknown by only seeing the given. In this example, we can see the sigma or the population standard deviation. And automatically, in this example, the population variance is known. Last example is the population's values are 1, 3, 4, 7, and 11. Two samples are drawn without replacement. The sampling distribution when the variance is known. The standard error formula is sigma divided by the square root of n. The population is given in this example. So we can solve the population variance. The sample size is also given. So the population variance is known and the standard error formula is sigma divided by the square root of n. That's all for today's video and I hope you learned something.